Have you ever wondered why some fantasy weapons become more famous than the characters who wield them? After more than two decades of crafting fantastical worlds and analyzing countless stories, I've uncovered the secret alchemy that transforms a mere object into a legend. So in this video I'll take you on a journey through 10 of the most iconic weapons in fantasy and reveal what makes them truly unforgettable. I'll show you how these legendary weapons can spark your own creativity, the key elements that make each weapon resonate with readers, and why understanding these icons can elevate your entire narrative. So are you ready to unlock the secrets of truly legendary weapons? Then let me start by revealing the first one. In the realm of Middle-earth, few weapons capture the imagination quite like Sting, the elven blade wielded by the hobbits Bilbo and Frodo Baggins. But Sting's power lies not in its size or strength, but in its unique properties and perfect fit for its unlikely wielders. Sting glows blue in the presence of orcs or goblins, serving as an early warning system. This seemingly simple ability becomes crucial in a world where danger often lurks in dark places. Despite its small size, it's incredibly sharp and strong, capable of cutting through spider webs with ease. But what truly sets Sting apart is its rich history and perfect alignment with its bearer's needs. Originally an ancient elven dagger, it finds new purpose as a short sword in a hobbit's hand. This repurposing reminds us that in fantasy objects can gain legendary status not just through the inherent power, but through their significance to the story and characters. For your own writing, consider how a weapon's unique properties might align with your character's journey. Could an unassuming object hold great power when matched with the right wielder? Remember, in fantasy it's often not the size of the sword, but the courage of the one who wields it that truly matters. Moving on, it's time to visit the North. From the lightning streaked skies of North mythology to the pages of Marvel comics, Mjolnir stands as one of the most recognizable legendary weapons. But what truly sets Thor's hammer apart is not just its power, but the moral dimension it adds to the narrative. Mjolnir's most famous attribute is in its worthiness enchantment. Only those deemed worthy can lift and wield it. This concept transforms the hammer from a mere weapon into a test of character, allowing writers to explore themes of worthiness, self-doubt and redemption. Beyond this, Mjolnir grants Thor control over lightning and storms, showcasing how a legendary weapon can be an extension of its wielder's divine nature. And its ability to always return to Thor's hand when thrown demonstrates a unique bond between weapon and wielder. Overall, Mjolnir shows us that a legendary weapon can be its own character, almost sentient, one that influences the plot by challenging the hero in unexpected ways. Its presence in a story can create moments of triumph, tension and even humor depending on who attempts to lift it. For your own legendary weapons, consider how they might challenge your characters beyond mere combat. Could your weapon choose its wielder rather than the other way around? How might a weapon's powers reflect or amplify its wielder's innate abilities? These are questions worthy of their own story. Now as we shift from the realm of gods to the world of video games, we encounter the Master Sword from the Legend of Zelda series. The Master Sword's legend comes from its deep integration into the lore and its central role in the hero's journey. It's not just a tool, but a central plot device that drives the story forward. It repels evil, often being the only weapon capable of defeating the main antagonist Ganon. It chooses the hero, only allowing itself to be drawn from its pedestal by the true hero of legend. It has sealing capabilities, often used to imprison great evils. And it sometimes serves as a key to unlock gateways between time periods and even more than that. In general, the Master Sword teaches us that a truly legendary weapon can be the threat that ties your entire narrative together. It's both a physical object and a symbolic representation of the hero's growth and destiny. When creating your own legendary weapons, think about how they can be tied to your world's history and prophecies. Could your weapon serve as a plot device, unlocking new areas or abilities? How might wielding the weapon change or challenge your character? These are fascinating things to explore, allowing you to embed your weapon deep into the main thread of your story. Venturing into the magical world of Harry Potter, we then encounter the Sword of Gryffindor, a blade that stands out for its unique abilities and rich history. What makes this sword truly legendary is also not just its magical properties, but how it embeds the values of House Gryffindor and plays a crucial role in the story's climax. 
Goblin made with superior magical properties, it can absorb that which strengthens it, like Basilisk Venom. This unique feature allows the sword to become more powerful over time, adapting to new challenges. It also appears to worthy Gryffindors in times of need, showcasing a magical sentience that responds to courage and necessity. It has historical significance, having belonged to Godric Gryffindor, which ties deeply to the lore of the Wizarding World. And it becomes a crucial tool in destroying Horcruxes, directly contributing to Voldemort's defeat. The Sword of Gryffindor shows us that a weapon's story doesn't end with its forging, it can continue to grow and change throughout your narrative. It serves as a physical manifestation of Gryffindor house values, bravery, daring, and chivalry. For your own legendary weapons, consider how they might evolve or gain new properties over time. Could your weapon have a mind of its own, appearing when needed? How can you tie your weapon to the core themes and values of your story? Any of these questions alone can already lead you on an exciting path of discovery. Back in Middle-earth then, we find Andoril, the Flame of the West. This sword carries a weight of history and symbolism that elevates it beyond a mere weapon to a pivotal element of the story's themes and character development. Andoril's legendary status comes from several key elements. First, it was reforged from the shards of Nasil, the sword that cut the One Ring from Sauron's hand. This lineage ties it directly to one of the most crucial moments in Middle-earth's history. It also serves as a symbol of the returned king and the United Kingdom, making it as much a political symbol as a weapon. Most importantly though, it's a physical manifestation of Aragorn's character arc, from ranger to king. When accepting Anduriel, Aragorn also accepts his role as Isildur's true heir, something he had been avoiding for a very long time. Anduriel teaches us that a weapon's history can be just as important as its current wielder in creating a truly legendary status. It reminds us that in fantasy, objects can carry the weight of entire civilizations' hopes and fears. So when crafting your own legendary weapons, consider how they might tie into your character's personal journey or your world's broader narrative. Could reclaiming or reforging a weapon symbolize a character's growth or the rebirth of an entire nation? How might your weapon serve as a symbol of something greater than itself? Just imagine one weapon standing for the foundation of your world's most captivating nation. That truly stands for legendary, I'd say. But shifting from the noble legacy of Anduriel, we enter darker territories with Frostmourne from the Warcraft universe. This runeblade stands as a testament to the allure of power and the price of corruption, serving as both temptation and cautionary tale. Frostmourne's infamous nature stems from its terrible powers and the tragic fate it brings to its wielder. First, it devours the souls of those it slays, adding a horrific consequence to its use. It also corrupts and dominates the mind of its wielder, turning the paladin Arthurs from a noble prince into the dreaded Lich King. It grants immense power, including control over the undead, making it a weapon of mass destruction. Frostmourne shows us that sometimes the most legendary weapons are the ones that pose the greatest dangers to their own wielders. It serves as a powerful reminder that in fantasy, power always comes with a price, and the most tempting gifts are often the most dangerous. So for your own legendary designs, consider what price might come with wielding such a weapon. Could it have its own goals or motivations? How might the allure of power create conflict for your characters? Just think about the breathtaking journey through a story that reveals a sentient weapon, the very one wielded by the protagonist, as the main antagonist. But moving on, from the corrupting influence of Frostmourne, we jump to a galaxy far, far away, where lightsabers reign as the epitome of elegant weaponry. In the Star Wars universe, these weapons are more than just tools of combat. They are a blend of technology and spirituality, deeply tied to the Force and the identity of their wielders. A few things contribute to making lightsabers as an entire category of weapons truly legendary. First, there's personalization. Each lightsaber is unique to its wielder, reflecting their personality and skills. The color of the blade, the design of the hilt, and even the internal components are all choices that reflect the Jedi or Sith who wields it. Then there's a connection to the Force. The heart of each lightsaber is a kyber crystal, attuned to the Force. This mystical element ties the weapon to the spiritual aspects of the Star Wars universe. Then there's also versatility. Lightsabers are used for both offense and defense, capable of cutting through most materials and deflecting blaster bolts. 
This versatility makes them more than just weapons. They are tools for a variety of situations. But also consider their symbolic meaning. Lightsabers represent both the Jedi and Sith Orders, symbolizing the ongoing struggle between the light and the dark sides of the Force. They are physical manifestations of a Force user's power and alignment. Overall, lightsabers teach us that a truly legendary weapon can be an extension of its wielder, both physically and spiritually. They remind us that in fantasy and science fiction, weapons can be more than tools of destruction. They can be symbols of hope, justice, and the battle between good and evil. So when creating your own legendary weapons, think about how they can be personalized to their wielders. Could the process of creating or obtaining the weapon be a significant part of your story? The quest for a personalized signature weapon can in of itself be the source for an entire epic, from hunting down materials to forging the weapon in a possibly dangerous or even long forgotten location. But leaving outer space, in the harsh realm of Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire, Longclaw stands out as a symbol of honor and duty. This Valyrian steel sword gains a legendary status not just from its superior craftsmanship, but from its role in the story and its significance to its wielder Jon Snow. Longclaw's notable features are the following. First, it is crafted from Valyrian steel, making it incredibly sharp, strong and light. This rare material adds to the sword's mystique and gives it the crucial ability to kill White Walkers. It also carries an ancient legacy, being a family heirloom of House Mormont for five centuries. Then we have its pommel that was changed from a bear to a direwolf, symbolizing Jon Snow's dual heritage and his journey from bastard to leader. And finally, it was given to Jon by Lord Commander Mormont, which represents the faith placed in Jon and the duties he must uphold. Longclaw shows us that a legendary weapon can be a constant reminder of a character's duties, struggles and personal growth. It teaches us that in fantasy, a sword can be more than a weapon, it can be a symbol of honor, a badge of office and a test of character all in one. So for your own legendary weapons, consider how they might represent a character's responsibilities or burdens. How might changing or adapting a weapon reflect a character's growth? Now if you found anything useful in the video so far, please consider giving it a like to help me grow the channel. Thank you. Moving on, in the Harry Potter series, the Elder Wand stands apart as the most powerful wand in existence. But what makes it truly legendary is not just its power, but the complex moral questions it raises and the themes it explores within the story. The Elder One's key aspects can be summarized like this. First, we have its unbeatable power. It is said to make its owner undefeatable in duels, creating an aura of invincibility around its possessor. Then there is a complex allegiance. Its loyalty lies with whoever defeated its previous master, not necessarily its current owner. This unique trait adds layers of complexity to its use and ownership. Then there is a dangerous allure. Its power attracts those who seek it, often leading to their downfall. This aspect explores themes of power, ambition and the corrupting nature of unchecked authority. Of course, we cannot forget about its mythic status either. As part of the Deathly Hallows, it is tied to a larger mythological narrative within the wizarding world, enhancing its legendary status. The other one teaches us that sometimes the most legendary weapons are those that are as dangerous to possess as they are to face. It reminds us that in fantasy, the greatest power often comes with the greatest cost, and that true strength might lie in the ability to resist such temptations. When crafting your own legendary weapons, think about how the reputation of your weapon might affect those around it. Could your weapon have complex rules governing its use or ownership? Imagine your story starts with a key moment where a seemingly unbeatable character discovers that the legendary weapon actually doesn't fully obey them leading to their downfall and the weapon to seek their rightful master. Now, leaving Harry Potter behind us, I want to conclude our legendary journey with perhaps the most famous weapon of them all, Excalibur, the Sword of King Arthur. What makes this blade the epitome of legendary weapons, inspiring countless stories across centuries, is not just its magical properties, but its deep ties to concepts of leadership, destiny and the very fate of an entire nation. These are Excalibur's legendary features. We start with its mystical origin. Often associated with the Lady of the Lake, its origin ties it to the magical and mysterious aspects of Arthurian legend. Then we have its symbol of rightful rule. In many versions, only the true king can pull it from the stone, making it a test of leadership and destiny. Of course, we can't ignore the magical powers either. 
It's variously said to blind enemies, cut through iron, or never lose its edge. Its powers have grown in the telling and retelling of its story. Then there is its powerful scabbard. In some tales, the scabbard prevents the wearer from bleeding, reminding us that sometimes a weapon's accessories can be as powerful as the weapon itself. Excalibur shows us that a truly legendary weapon can be the linchpin of an entire mythos, driving the story and shaping the world around it. It teaches us that in fantasy, a weapon can be more than an object and can be the embodiment of an idea, a nation's hope, or a promised destiny. For your own legendary weapons, consider how they can be tied to the governance or fate of your fantasy world. Could your weapon's accessories have their own powers? How might prophecies or myths surrounding your weapon drive your plot? Who knows, whatever weapon you conjure from the depths of your imagination could become the foundation of a mythos that captivates the inhabitants of your fantasy world for centuries. Remember, the goal isn't to copy any of these legendary weapons. It's to understand what makes them resonate so deeply with readers and use these insights to forge your own icons. But crafting a weapon usually involves some kind of metal. So to make sure you pick the right ingredients for your legendary design, Watch this video here next and learn how to extract inspiration from 12 essential metals so that your weapon doesn't fall apart in the midst of your storytelling battles.